Well, hello, good morning, friends. Welcome to the Floor United Methodist Church. It's the Sunday after Thanksgiving. And uh, I'm running out of clothes to wear. I'm wearing the same outfit I wore last week. How about that? And uh, so, but let me, let me tell you what we're going to do today. We're going to take this Thanksgiving service to worship the Lord. And we're just going to sing praises. We have excellent musicians and singers. And they rotate in and out of here all the time. And we have a very, very, very deep bench. And we want you to hear a few songs this morning. And so I'm not going to preach. We're going to just sing. And I'm going to come back at the end of our worship. And I'm going to pray with you. So just join us for prayer uh, and praise. And uh, this morning we'll just have a great end of our Thanksgiving week. Let me, let me make this announcement. We are not going to have our traditional uh, stuff this year that we usually do at Christmas time. I'll tell you what we're going to do. We'll have our live nativity scene on Highway 49. We need you to call Celie Miller about that. We're going to have a float in the Christmas parade. That's pretty exciting right here in Flora. If you live outside the area, you probably don't care about that. But if you're right here, I hope you plug in. But we're going to have Christmas Eve service right here. Candlelight, communion, and, uh, and music. And we have a music-only service with communion and, and candlelight every year at Christmas Eve. We have about 250, 300 people who come in here just for that service. And we're going to try and live stream that. And so I don't know how any of that works, so I'm not going to say that we're going to do it. But I'm going to tell you we're going to discuss it. And, I, I, and so I don't know who's going to show up this year because, you know, it probably won't be 250 or 300 because we're only running about a, a third or so of our congregation in here on Sunday mornings. But, but uh, and of course, we don't want to put anybody in harm's way. I would rather get the COVID than give it to somebody. And I can tell you, every Christian in this church feels the same way I do. We're not scared that we might catch it, but we are aware that we might give it to somebody, and we don't want that. But we're going we're gonna to have Christmas Eve candlelight service with communion, and if we have to just, ha you know, if we have to come down here and there's six of us, we're going to do it. And we're going we're gonna to try and bring it to you so that you can celebrate with us on Facebook and or YouTube. So that will be, what's Christmas Eve this year? Is that on the 24th? Is it Christmas Eve on the 24th this year? I, I don't, is this leap year? No, I'm, I'm just, I'm, I'm teasing my, my people. Listen, friends, I'm so glad you're with us today. We're going to worship for about a half an hour this morning, and then I'm going to come back and I'm going to pray for you. So when I say praise band, take it away, this time I mean praise band. <laughs> take it away, it's all yours. Amen. Don't. Touch that doll, I'll be right back.
him yours regardless of the clouds that may loom above because you are much greater than my pain you who made a way for me suffering your destiny so tell me what's a little rain so Is Lord God Almighty? Bless the Lord, oh my soul, oh my soul. Worship his holy name. Sing like never before. Oh, my soul, I worship your holy name. The sun comes up, it's a new day dawning. It's time to sing.
What do you think about that? Praise God. You should come here on Sunday mornings. I know you. what you're thinking. You're thinking, I live in Uganda. How am I going to come to Florida on Sunday mornings? Hey, it's worth it. You'll have to leave about Thursday. <laughs> but, but you'll be so glad you did. Well, praise God. I, uh, we're going to pray for you. We're getting geared up for Advent and to celebrate Christmas and all of that. And But we wanted to end Christmas uh, Thanksgiving week on a high note. And so I just invite you to bow your heads with me in prayer. Let's pray together right now. Father God, we come to you in Jesus' name, thanking you, Lord, for our singers, our musicians, Lord, uh, the young lions of the tribe of Judah, as Judah means praise, singing praises to our Lord. Lord, I just thank you for the piano and the guitar and all of those instruments that we have in our, in our midst every, every Sunday. And Lord, those who just lift their voices, Lord, and, and praise and worship, Lord. I think of the, uh, the other instruments we add from time to time, like uh, the violin and the drums and the bass. And, and Lord, we have... Uh, even sometimes handbells or sometimes we have uh, uh, somebody will break out an instrument. We didn't even know they could play it. And it's just such a wonderful thing. But Lord, to hear your people sing, that's just absolutely the best. When people sing from their hearts. For the scripture says in the very last psalm, Psalm 150, let everything that hath breath Praise the Lord. So, Lord, we just give you praise. You are our King. You are our Lord. And, Lord, it's been a, a heck of a week. It's been a heck of a year. And, Lord, all of us, my, myself included, I must confess, that we'll all be glad. I think everybody will be glad when 2020 ends and we're just a, a month away from 2021, and there's always a, a, a a renewed sense of hope, people make vows and that kind of thing for, for the new year, resolutions. But Lord, you've been good to us in 2020. 
You've been very good to us. Lord, every every bill is paid and and uh and the lights are on and and we have a wonderful staff and we have a wonderful church and wonderful churches. Lord, we have a good relationship with other believers across the across our country and around the world. And Lord, our our mission and ministry calendar is filling up in just a, a few days. Just this next week, we'll be holding a conference in Chile, even just starting four days from now. And then from there into Uganda and back into Cuba, Lord, and and as the doors reopen for access around the world, Lord, you, you have called us and we're just going. Lord, we're not backing up a bit. Lord, we know that the kingdom has many, many, many forward gears that doesn't have any reverse. And Lord, you never, you never have to back up and you never have to reboot and you never have to rethink anything, Lord. You, you see perfectly and you impart uh, wisdom and courage for us to go forward, Lord. For us to bring your kingdom with, with power and glory. So, Lord, as this week of Thanksgiving draws to a close, we just want to stop right now and just say thank you, Lord. Lord, for those who are watching this morning who are in pain, those who aren't that excited about the holidays. Lord, we, in our family, Christmas was such a huge deal that we just anticipated it. And in all of my life, I've anticipated Christmas with great joy. But Lord, not everybody does. Some people are just stressed out by the holiday because of financial issues. and Others' family issues are exacerbated at and just old wounds are, are revisited during the holiday season, Lord. And, and some are just lonely. So, Lord, we pray for everybody that's watching. Lord, from the, from the little bitty children with twinkles in their eyes at the thought that Santa Claus is coming to town. To so those who've been separated by time and distance, and, and for many of us, by eternity. Whereas we have loved ones who are near and dear to us who are spending the holiday with you. So, Lord, we, we pray for everybody. And, Lord, as, as this year of uncertainty and this year of uh, frustration and fear draws to a close, we thank you, Lord, that you have been faithful every step of the way. And Lord, 10,000 years from now, we'll all be together, we'll all be with you, and we won't even think about 2020. If somebody walks up to us a million years from now and says, well, that 2020 was a doozy, wasn't it? And we'll look at him and we'll say, what on earth are you talking about? Lord, everything, just all the shadows fade in the light of eternity, in the light of grace, there is no shadow of turning with thee. Great is thy faithfulness. So, Lord, hear our prayers, receive our praise. Know, O oh God, that we are a blessed and a grateful people. We love you, Lord. We love you, Lord. We offer all of this in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Okay, friends, we're still praying. We're still fighting for you. The prayer list is here. God bless you. Thank you, praise team. Boy, they, all of these songs, they run it back and forth, changing clothes. It's really just remarkable. You will be so blessed this week. I will see you one week from today. God bless you. Mm -hmm.